Now, what is up my fellow prodcores? Welcome to this video and today I will explain why you should never ever ever store passwords in plain text and why you might even be personally liable if you do so. Um, so oftentimes if we build systems, uh, we have some form of user authentication, right? And um, we store some users in a database. So let's just assume this is our users table. And here we have different users with different IDs, uh, with different emails and with passwords. Now let's just assume that we store the passwords in plain text. Spoiler, this is very, very bad. Now what could happen here? Well, this will be a really, really big problem if this table for whatever reason gets stolen. Why? Because the attacker then has the combination of the email and the password of all your users. And this is really, really bad because for one, they can log into your system and do whatever they want. And uh, the second reason is why, why this is bad uh, is that a lot of people use the same email and password combinations for multiple sites. So if this user, for example, uses the same password for your service, like he uses for his bank account, um, then the hacker has even more, like can do even more harm. And one thing I would like to mention here is that depending on which country you are, um, you might even be personally liable for this because passwords like storing passwords in plain text is considered a very very bad practice it's not industry standard at all and if something happens if some data is stolen then depending on which country you live in um, you might be personally liable for this right so it's as if like a doctor makes a mistake during an operation like the same way that the doctor is liable like you as a developer uh, or yeah, can be liable as well. So let's just talk about how to do this properly. You should never ever store the password, the plain text password, uh, but you should always store a password hash. And if you don't know what uh, hashing is, specifically what bcrypt is, then I think I have a pretty easy explanation here. So bcrypt is uh, something or is a hashing function, a specific hashing function. And um, let's explain it in a simple way. So think of bcrypt like a machine, like a machine that does some magic. And you put some password, some string into that machine, and it's going to spit out like a super cryptic um, string here, right? So like dollar, two, y, I don't know. Um, and what is, there's something that is very special about this string over here. And what is special is that you cannot easily go back to the plain text password. So the only way to get back to the original plain text password is to guess what has been hashed. So it's basically one way, like you cannot go back. And this is really, really helpful for passwords because just imagine like someone steals uh, your users table, then that hacker has the password hashes. Well, but you only have the hash, right? So you cannot go back. The only way you can go back is by guessing what has been hashed. Uh, now, sometimes there is also, well, some attackers use something called rainbow tables which is basically a huge dictionary, um, a list of, okay, if the password is uh, ABC, then the hash is, <laughs> if the password is, I don't know, some other string, then the hash is this string. Okay, so it's basically like a, a list of passwords and corresponding hashes. So if your password is weak and you use like a, a common word or something, um, then an attacker might even be able to get the plain text representation. But as I said, the only way to go back to, the, to get the plain text password is to guess what has been hashed in the first place. And this is really, really good. 
because now what we can just do is instead of storing the plain text password, we just store the password hash. And then if the user logs in by, pro by sending like their password over an encrypted or over a secure connection to our server, we just hash whatever the user has sent to us. And then we compare it with the password hash that we have in our database. And if those two match, well, then the password was correct and the user can log in. So again, um, to sum up, never ever, ever store passwords in plain text. Uh, always use password hashes and um, yeah, always use bcrypt specifically for passwords. And with that, it's like, even if you somehow manage to steal like the data, it's pretty hard to make any use of it. But also for that to work, it's also very important that um, the passwords have like sufficient strength so that they cannot be attacked uh, with rainbow tables. <laughs> so in the extreme case, like if your password is like 60 characters long with, uh, I don't know, numbers and small and lowercase uh, characters and uppercase characters, it's like pretty hard uh, to attack. Um, but most people don't do that. So, and that's why you should always store passwords as hashes. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And by the way, I have uh, posted like a link in the video description down below. If you want to have a say in what we cover next on the channel, you can sign up for this email list and uh, then I will send around a poll from time to time and then you guys can vote. And depending on what you vote for, I will see what I can do. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in the next videos.